Perfect. So I'm just going to adjust the screen here, make sure everybody can see me well, and we'll go into some of the demonstration in terms of uh, how to appropriately administer this medication. Then we'll go into a question and answer session um, as, at the very end of the presentation. So I'm just going to pull up a couple different things here that we'll kind of go over together, okay? So um, here I have kind of a penis model, all right? This is what we're going to use when we do the injection therapy. I'll show you the appropriate technique in terms of how to draw up the medication first, and then we'll do a couple sample injections to show you do's and don'ts, okay? So um, when you get your MenMD kit or your injection trimix or bimix therapy kit, uh, you'll notice that the medication basically comes in um, a medication vial like this. So uh, you will open this up, and the medication will basically have a small diaphragm on the tip of this, okay? So what this is is it's a rubber small area that that's where the needle is going to go. So at the top is where you're going to notice this gray circle. That's where you're going to insert the needle. Again, insert that there, and then that's going to be how we're going to draw the medication. When we uh, are drawing out the medication, it's really important that we have the uh, medication vial flipped upside down and then draw up uh, the medication from down below. This basically, you can see that air rises to the top, so that's going to minimize our chance of getting any air bubbles in. Uh, again, we want to have all liquid in the syringe at the right amount. Your syringes are typically going to come in a bag, and it's going to come with a supply of a number of these different types of syringes. Here we have one version of this uh, syringe, which I'm going to kind of show you some of the numbers here, okay? So this is a 50-unit um, syringe, uh, and, you know, there'll be a specific dosing for the amount of units that we're going to use here. The reality is that this is about a half cc or a half milliliter, uh, which is 50 units. Um, and typically, we'll kind of start low uh, at certain increments, and then we're going to build up until we get the desired dose. Um, there are two caps on these syringes when they come to you. There's a cap at the top that uh, basically reveals the needle. You can see that these needles are very thin and tiny, and they're actually, you know, when you put it up to your finger, pretty, uh, pretty small. So when we go in, you'll either push the needle in all the way or part of the way, and then inject that medication therapy. So I'm gonna recap the needle just for safety's sake, and then at the bottom, there's actually also a syringe, uh, a, a cap that comes on the plunger of the syringe. So I'm gonna show you just what the, uh, what the syringe looks like when we draw out uh, the medication without necessarily drawing out the liquid. So I want you to pay attention to this black area at the top of the syringe. You'll notice that that's kind of all the way up at the top. So when I have my medication in the vial, okay, um, and I'm drawing up the liquid, okay, so I puncture into this gray area here, and then I'm going to draw out the medication. I want you to basically see what this kind of looks like though in terms of that plunger, okay? So when I draw up the medication, you're gonna notice the top part of the plunger is where the liquid is going to fill to. So if I wanted 10 units, I would simply pull the plunger at the bottom down until I reach 10. If I wanted 20 units, I would basically pull down to 20 and so on and so on. Typically, we'll come up with small incremental doses. So if we tried 20 last time, it didn't get you the desired response. You'll, you can go to 25 for the next dose, 24 hours later. Uh, then you'll go to 30, you know, the next dose until we find the desired dose. Again, it will be really important. Your provider team will talk to you about the maximum dose to not exceed. All right. And um, so... We're going to basically uh, start out at uh, a typical dose here, okay? And again, this dose may vary from person to person. You'll work with your provider team, okay? Um, so basically, we're going to draw out this medication, okay? I'm going to say we're going to start out at a 20-unit uh, dose, so we're going to pull that liquid down, okay? And that liquid is basically filling until that top black part, okay? I'm going to see if I can turn it for you is at the 20, okay? And what I'm gonna do there is I'm gonna make sure that there's no air bubbles, okay? If there's air bubbles that are in the syringe, okay? I gently flick the syringe to get them to the top, and then I will basically take my hand and I will push 
the plunger up to get that air out and then draw out a little bit of liquid until I'm all the way full with liquid and there's no air bubbles. Then I'll take my syringe out, okay? I'm gonna set the syringe down just to show you a little bit about the you know, areas that we're gonna be injecting on the penis before we actually do it, okay? So if you have the penis here, okay, and we're looking at the penis like a clock face, all right? We have the 12 o'clock position on top. That's a don't inject there because you have the nerves and the blood vessels. You have the six o'clock position on the clock face underneath. Don't inject there. That's the urinary tube. We want to aim for three o'clock or nine o'clock position or one o'clock and 11 o'clock position, somewhere on the sides, okay? In terms of where along the length of the penis you want to inject, you're basically going to try to aim for the bottom third, okay? So closest to the body, about a third of the way uh, up. And that's where you're going to inject either at the three o'clock or the nine o'clock position. If you are right-handed, you'll use typically your left hand to, to extend the penis, okay? And then your right hand to inject. If you're left-handed, you'll kind of do le uh, vice versa where, you know, you stretch the penis or hold it kind of flat so there's no bending or redundancy, nice flat tissue. And then you'll use your left hand to inject. So I'm right-handed, I'm gonna show you a right-handed demonstration, okay? So when you're ready to go, we've cleaned the penis surface with the uh, alcohol swab, and we've cleaned the bottle uh, beforehand and pulled out our medication, okay? We have our syringe ready to go, there's no cap on the bottom, there's no cap on the top, and then basically, uh, we're going to basically put this on the lateral position, okay? Uh, as this is kind of my clock face moving away from me, this will be kind of like a three o'clock position here, okay? So I'm going to turn the penis to the side. We're going to go for the uh, third of the penis that's closest to the body. And you're going to basically put the needle, I'm going to come in a little bit closer so you can see this. We're going to put the needle, okay, directly into the penis tissue, okay? All right, and I'm gonna kind of turn that to you so the needle is completely in. And then there's one full push with the medication all the way in until you see that black portion of the syringe all the way through. You pull the needle out. And then you simply will either with the alcohol swab or a small piece of gauze or your finger, just hold a little bit of pressure over top of that area, similar to if you had a small nick or cut on the skin surface. Uh, you will hold that typically for 30 seconds to up to about three minutes, and that will be uh, enough to seal up that area, okay? You can put a small Band-Aid on if you want, but typically is not necessary, okay? And uh, at that point, we'll still require some stimulation. You'll typically still do this in anticipation of sexual activity about a half hour or so before, uh, but, you know, the timing of this may be variable from individual to individual, so it may take a little bit of a trial and an error. OK, if that dose has not been satisfactory to you, OK, we would go and basically pull up another dose. All right. So we started at the 20 milligrams. We could go to, say, a 25 milligram dose uh, the next time or 30 milligram dose the following time. So your provider team will write you some instructions and work with you on this. And we're always available to kind of go over this further. OK. So that's kind of injection therapy in a nutshell. Uh, is pretty straightforward. And a lot of times, you know, when we're doing the initial injection therapy, we'll demonstrate this technique with you uh, in the office and make sure that you feel nice and comfortable with it. I think most individuals who have done this just a couple of times feel like this is pretty straightforward to do and uh, relatively quick and painless, get some very good desired results in many cases and can be titrated if it's still not perfect.